Hey, did you start without me? What are you doing? Oh, I'm thinking outside the bun, chef. You see it. I'm just, you know, adding something that could go on the Taco Bell menu. What do you think? Mm, yeah, that's not going to make it to our menu. So tell me about your level one tacos. Uh, so pretty standard. Uh, I usually have a uh, flour tortilla, okay. uh, some ground beef, and shredded cheese. All right. So. For our level two upgrade, we're gonna replace the flour tortilla with a corn tortilla, and then we're gonna substitute at least half the ground beef with black beans. We're gonna add other ingredients like our tomatoes, our peppers, and avocado, but if you're low on time, you can also use pre-made salsa. That works well too. Okay, my stomach growled just thinking about that. All right, awesome. Our, our level three is gonna forego the tortilla altogether. We'll make a burrito bowl or a naked taco, whatever you wanna call it. All the fixings, no tortilla outside the bun and outside the taco. Yeah, and with no tortilla, I like to add cauliflower or some whole grain rice, mm -hmm. and uh, that gives it more substance. All right, sounds interesting, and like a long recipe to me, I don't know. No, not really. Trust me, Keon, you're gonna love it. You can save the leftovers and invite some friends over. Okay, a fancy meal. All right, uh, let's do level three first. So we did this recipe more of a typical chef way with all the mise en place in place first. So we have one pepper. You can use any pepper you like. Just remember to wear gloves so you don't get those natural oils on your skin or your eyes. We also have one yellow onion chopped, one can of black beans, low sodium taco seasoning, one lime with the skin removed, two cups of rice, and two cups of cauliflower, roughly chopped, and we have one avocado, some grape tomatoes, and cheese for toppings. We'll heat a large saute pan with two teaspoons of olive oil over medium heat. Our oil is already hot. Now go ahead and saute the whole pepper and half an onion for about five minutes. Yes, ma'am. That good? That's great. While Keon's working on that, we'll talk about black beans. Black beans are cooked, so technically you can eat them straight out of the can, but you want to rinse them first. This kind of slimy goop is a mixture of sodium, water, and starch that moves from inside the beans into the water. The starch liquid can be used to thicken sauces or purees, but we don't need that for our tacos or burrito bowl. Oh, that would, that would kind of nasty, Chef. Yeah. So we're going to drain and rinse the beans. We always get low sodium beans since they taste the same, but rinsing the beans lowers the sodium even more. If you want to completely get rid of the sodium, you have to get dry beans. But dry beans takes a lot of time and prep. So we'll stick to canned beans for today. That sounds good to me. Quick and easy is why I love tacos in the first place. Exactly. So now we're going to pour the beans into a colander over the sink. Okay. Gotcha. It's best to rinse them for at least 10 seconds. You want to get rid of as much of the sodium soap goop as possible. How's that, Chef? That's great. So now they're ready to be added to our saute pan. Got it. All right, now, Keon, go ahead and stir a third of the low sodium taco seasoning to our saute mixture there and transfer it to the blender. Make sure to be very careful, it's hot. Okay. How's that? That's great. Once that's done, we'll add the lime that's been peeled in a quarter cup of water. Perfect. Cool. And then the lime. And the water. Okay, and once he covers that, we're gonna pulse it until it's smooth. Is 
that good? All right, that's great. So back to our saute pan. I wiped out whatever was left, and now we're gonna put a little bit of oil in there. Gotcha. A little more? Or is that good? Okay. Yep. So for this portion of the recipe, you can buy pre-chopped cauliflower or chop your own. We have some that's already chopped here. So we're going to saute the cauliflower and the remaining half of the onion over medium-high heat for 12 to 15 minutes or until lightly browned. The rest of the onion? Yep, go ahead and put the rest of the onions in. Great job. All right, now we can go ahead and add two cups of whole grain brown ready rice and the remaining two thirds of low sodium taco seasoning. Got that. Great, perfect. So you cook for another three minutes. When that's done, you just put the cauliflower rice, the bean mixture, tomatoes, and avocado in a bowl and put some shredded cheese on top. I prefer grating blocks of cheese because they don't have any of the antifungal medications or anti-caking chemicals that you find in pre-shredded cheese. All right, that sounds kind of gross though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm definitely never eating pre-shredded cheese again. Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. You ready to try it? I'm ready, I bet. Thank you. Level up. Mm. I'm officially saying goodbye to Taco Bell. Uh, thank you, chef. Uh, I don't even need level two, actually. Thank you. Well, luckily we prepped most of the ingredients for our level two already. Just add some ground beef to our beans and spoon it onto a corn tortilla. Then add our veggies and some cheese. You want to try it, Kian? I've already got it ready. Oh, me? No, I'm good. I'm going to stick with this level three, actually. All right. Uh, and if you want to level up your nutrition knowledge, be sure to check out the companion episode, The Science Behind Episode 4, Tacos. We'll see y'all next time. Real good, Chef. Mm. I like it better.